Yo, yo. What up? Happy Thursday. Hey. Hey. It's another Thursday, another episode. Here we go. Yeah, man. Hey, 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 hey. Happy Thursday, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. If you're watching now, start to share, start to share. Come on in. Welcome to another Root Access Live. We are your hosts. I am your girl, Coco. I got my brother to the left and to the right. I got Mr. Root and Jinx. We got another we got another dope show for y'all tonight. Of course, we're going to talk Jay-Z and his philanthropy, Sean King and the White Jesus statue. Um, we're also going to talk about the cops in Wilmington, North Carolina, and more. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are lit. I'm telling y'all, we're having a party tonight. We got not one, not two, but three guests tonight. We got the remarkable right. Marvin Butler. We got the lovely Miss Candy West. And we have indie artist, the incredible Mr. Samat. Sir, yes, that. sir. I'm super excited for that tonight. Yeah, man. I believe we pronounce it Samot. I think it's Samot. I'm sorry. So maybe, maybe we maybe we should ask him. I, I don't know. I, I think we mind. should. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna well, ask him. We, we're definitely gonna do that and the science behind the name because everybody can't see the spelling of it. So we're gonna get into that as well. Yep, but thank yep. you to everybody who's tuning in tonight. Now let's go through our social media drill before we go any further. If you're new here, welcome and please like, subscribe, and uh, like and subscribe to all of our platforms at Root Access Live. Also hit the share button right now. And thank you to everybody who's submitting their music to the Rooted and Booted segment. We need more music though, guys. Please send your music to um, rootaccesslive at gmail.com. Um, so again, all questions, comments, and concerns can be emailed to rootaccesslive at gmail.com. And remember, we are live reading the comments, so we will be um, engaging with you all. So with that being said, y'all ready? You ready, Jinx? You ready, Root? Let's go, bros. Let's get it popping. Yeah. All right. Let's just say, let's pay homage right now. All right. Let's well, I was gonna do that a little bit later, but uh oh no no we gotta start off. Okay, it's been eleven years. Eleven years. One, the greatest to ever do it. There's no Thank other king of pop. Man. This is one we can this is one greatest we can agree on. This yep. is one mic we can agree on. One mic we can agree on. Hey, yo, like man, what what can we say? The king right, of pop. Don't worry about it. So today, ladies and gentlemen, is a special day for the world. On this day, 11 years ago, we lost a family member, a legend, y'all. On this day, 11 years ago, the earth stood still. Yeah, Seven today marks 11 years that we lost the king of pop, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was the man who made hit after hit and also made the wound walker a thing to learn that will never be forgotten. Ladies and gentlemen, today we remember Michael Jackson. 11 years. I mean, Mike is, is a person that, you, like, I'm sure, Jinx, you just show, you just spoke to your eight-year-old son, right? He knows who Michael Jackson is at eight years old. You know what I'm saying? My daughter, 17 years old, um, but again, she grew up, although Mike died when she was like six years old, she grew up knowing who Michael Jackson was. Right, um, right. So his name will go down in history as the greatest of all time like we had like we had uh, uh martin luther king you know his name will go down in history a hundred years from now you mentioned that name you yep. mentioned there's only a few names you mentioned that people will just know forevermore um we lost jinx for a minute i was just saying jinx your son even at eight years old knows who michael jackson is like he wasn't even born when when he died that's correct right, 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 right. but he knows michael jackson songs he knows michael jackson moves you know, I see, uh, you know, uh, Eric McDaniel's grandson, Eric McDaniel's grandson, he's like five, six years old. I mean, every time you see him, he's wearing a Michael Jackson shirt. He got the hat like he's influenced. So his influence, it, it transcends race. It transcends culture. It, it transcends age. I mean, right. Mike, um, where were you guys when, when you heard the news that Michael Jackson was no more? Man, I literally was just getting out of a movie. Um, don't ask me what movie I was watching, but I literally had just gotten out the movie theater and um, turned on the radio when I got in the car and I just heard everybody talking about it. I mean, it was ridiculous. It was it was kind of crazy. I mean, every radio station you turned on, they were talking about, you know, Mike. Yeah. Yep. How about you, Cole? 
I don't remember exactly what I was doing, but I was kind of devastated. I remember that part. It's kind of vague, but I know that I was, it, it, it put a mood on me and everybody else. I think I was, I might've been in the stores just getting off work, going in the stores and you just saw people looking down at their phones, like in mm-hmm. shop. And yep. yeah, that, that was, that's a day you'll, I mean, you, you can you you're going to remember that he died on June 25th. You might not remember exactly what you were doing at that moment, but Jesus, that was a day right there. Yeah, that was sure. a day. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, it was a Wednesday, um, and I just got off work, and my boy Daniel, um, one of my, one of my best friends, he texted me, um, and I back then I think I had a BlackBerry. <laughs> That's how far you're going back. <laughs> like, yo, yo, Mike. Mike died. I'm like, Mike who? We just like, right. like first name basically. He was like Michael Jackson. I'm like, nah, right. another rumor again. And I'm in the car and I turned on the radio and I uh, turned to Michael Basden. And he was saying, yeah, it's reports that Michael Jackson, King of Pop has died. I'm like, what? Yeah. And then you turn on other stations and you hear that it's true, that it happened. And I remember it was during convocation time. Mm. So I remember like going to church, like, like we really having church right now. <laughs> like Michael Jackson is dead. I remember being in the parking lot, like, yo, right. I don't, I'm not even feeling it. Yeah. Like this is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, man, like, like Coco said, the earth stood still, man. Yeah. So, and then, you know, so many went on after him to think within a 10 year span, we would lose Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston and then Prince. Right. Now, as a matter of fact, I know where I was going. I was getting off work and I was going to Target. Okay. So okay. Remember okay. that. Yeah. It's crazy how certain things you just don't forget. You can remember where you were, what you were doing. It's crazy. I never forget. I, we were living in Jersey. Came out the movie theaters. I'm like, man, this is crazy. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, I mean, rest God rest his soul. Do y'all we, y'all think we 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 should definitely honor this moment by giving a moment of silence to Michael Jackson. So if you will with us. All right, guys, on a lighter note, Jay-Z, y'all, as always, he's hard at work, and he does it again. This time, he gives supermarket gift cards to three housing projects struggling uh, due to the COVID. So he provides relief for them, guys. What are y'all feeling about that? It's classic so, Jay-Z. Love this, love this guy's heart. I love his philanthropy. Yeah, yeah it's classic yeah, man. Jay-Z, man. This is what he does. Yeah. You know, and, he, and, and what I love about him is he does it so silently. Like he doesn't do it for the accolades. He doesn't do it for people to know. Mm-hmm. You know, it just so happens that everybody's going to find out because it's Jay-Z, but I, just, I love it. I love what he does, man. And, and, you know, this is a part of, you know, what you're supposed to do once you get to a certain point, you know, giving back, doing what you can do to help others, man. I, I love it. Right. He's also classified as one of the goats and we're, and we're on the goats. He's definitely. Yes. One of- Are we arguing about that too? Yeah, we're not. He's not the goat, but we are arguing about. We, we, this is you know. something's wrong. Who's all right? So, what rapper is better than Jay Z? Biggie. Okay. Okay, my wife will probably go with that, but no, no. I mean, because we have to understand that Biggie just didn't didn't have enough material to be the goat. That's not his fault. But right. it's not his fault. Right, right, you, right. you can't you can't say okay. So let's talk hypothetical. If Biggie wasn't hadn't been assassinated, then we wouldn't even be having this conversation. No, we no wouldn't. disrespect be. to Jay-Z, but come on. All right. You well, know what? I think going to well, scale we can have this conversation scale. another 20 minutes. Well, <laughs> I knew scale, my wife was coming. Here, here go Kim. There she go. Come on here. Dude. Come on, somebody. Come on. Uh, I agree with but both we love Jay-Z I, too. If, if we had a scale, it would it would balance equally. I love yeah, it's not I Coco, I promise you, not we're not discrediting Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Not at all. No, you can't discredit Jay-Z. Right. First of all, East Trenton grew him. Y'all see that. I'm from Trenton, New Jersey, so I'm going to claim that all day. But if you put them on a, in a, on a scale, they both weigh out, they both weigh out equally to me. I could play back to back. I could do a versus of my own and be bumping on both Biggie and Jay-Z. So I'm going to go they equal out. I, you know, but and like, like again, like Jake said, it's not his fault. If he had been here today, his catalog would be much deeper. And I bet it uh, would. It it would, but I don't want to take away. I don't want to take away from Jay's moment. No. Okay. So for, for, and we're gonna argue about this another time. Just know that. Um, we're definitely coming back to this. We definitely. But, uh, if you know anything about New York, if you know anything about Brooklyn specifically, I'm from the Bronx, but I lived in Brooklyn for a number of years, and my wife is from Brooklyn, of course. 
he he gave every household in Marcy Projects, in Sumner Projects, and in Tompkins houses. I know people who grew up in all three. These are not like little projects. No. You're talking about probably well over 10,000. For sure. 15,000 families. For sure. Families. For sure. So to give a substantial amount of money on a gift card to each and every family in mm -hmm. three different housing projects is amazing. I don't care how much money you have. Right. I mean, right. just the thought of that, just the gesture is is amazing. And, you know, you have so many people who, especially on social media, oh, where Jay-Z at? Where, you know, where's this person at? And like you said, some people do stuff in silence. Prince did so much stuff in silence that you didn't even know until after he died, the people that he blessed and his his philanthropy, his philanthropic right. efforts. So, you know, people just need to be quiet. Yeah. And let these people do what they're going to People do what they do, how they're going to do it. Like, it was we, even we, don't, somebody, we don't have a monopoly on people. It, I was reading some of the comments. It was even somebody on there, like, a gift card for the supermarket. I'm like, dude, it's like 50,000 units out there. Like, like what, come on. No, like, what, what, like, what, like, what have you done? Right. Yeah, so. Have you done that? Have you gone to the projects? Have you written a personal check to each and every person that's in the projects? What if that gift what if that gift card was five hundred dollars? What right. if that gift card was like a real substantial amount yeah. where the, where these individuals were able to go get groceries for the entire month or two months? You never know, no matter what it was. Right. I mean, Even if it was fifty dollars about right, fifty dollars for ten thousand people. Right. He yeah. has provided relief to them. some of them people have not gotten unemployment, welfare, anything. So right. I kudos to his efforts. And while we're speaking about him, I might as well say this too. Um, he and Kanye also destroyed a $1 million, um, like a 2004 Maybach in a music video. And they sold it for like $60,000 and they uh, donated the proceeds to an organization in Africa called Save the Children. Hmm. And, wow, and dope. I said, no matter how much I want to discredit Kanye, you got to give credit where it's due. So, to yeah, salute. I mean, you do. You do. Well. Yep. Salute to That's what's up. That's what's up. Yep. What we got next? Sean King. Y'all want to get on Sean King? Yes. Jinx, I want you. Jinx, I, that, that's one for you right here. I want you to get on Sean King. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Ahead. So, so the, I, I love Sean King. I happen to follow him on everything um, because he is definitely somebody who is always speaking his mind in regards to um, the mistreatment of the African-American community. Um, he is somebody who doesn't care who you are, doesn't care what you stand for, doesn't care what position you have. If you do something that's worthy of being pulled on a carpet, he's going to pull you on the carpet. And one of the things that he's talking about right now is uh, all of these um, statues and pictures and memorabilia of uh, what they would call a white Jesus. Now, I, I, normally I don't like getting into this debate because I don't really like talking about it because it's sometimes it's so immaterial. But um, if we're going to talk about real history and if we're going to talk about, you know, the facts, um, it is uh, really important that we talk about the uh, area in which Jesus Christ came from, right? And so uh, it was. It's it's almost impossible for him to be considered a Caucasian. Now, um, Sean King is basically saying that if we're going to pull down statues, statues of racist individuals, uh, statues of people who are um, uh, looked at as a uh, discredit or people who've discredited uh, the black community. Uh, he's also saying that if we're going to be honest, that we need to pull down all of the white statues and white pictures of Jesus because it doesn't represent who he really was or what color as he well really was and where he came glass. from. As well as stained glass. Yes, yes, all of these things. Um, it's interesting. You know, Sean King's one of those people who do this. And, and, and I don't know what you guys feel about it, but it was it was really interesting when I saw it. And then on his social media platform, um, he put a picture of what many of the um, people who, who, who are historians uh, would suggest that Jesus looked like. And, and I should have been able to pull it up, but I didn't think about it until right now. Um, and if I can find it, I'll still pull it up. Um, he definitely does not have the features of someone who would be Caucasian. No, um, they said he, something about his birth certificate um, being, a white man or having a black man on it. I got I got to fact check that, but there was something to it because they were trying to say he pulled like a a racial uh, a racial dolazel on him, where he he was accused of being a Caucasian portraying a black man. Yeah, yeah. I'm and on the fence. 
black is a beautiful thing. I mean, you know. I'm, I'm on the fence with this um, because I feel like doing that, like 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 Tanya just said, Tanya Williams, the Catholics will die. Um, so it, the idea of us going across the world kind of yeah and i mean what, what what's the point of that right like what purpose does that solve you know what is the real um the real purpose behind it the you know I, what's the purpose I, behind I, it? I, I think that that you know again somebody said uh, valerie bauer said who has ever seen him right no no one today um has ever seen him so you know it is it can you know be a touchy subject um, and mm -hmm. Sean King is known for these kinds of things, right? right? He's known for broaching these subjects that can be considered um, touchy and flat out offensive. Right. Um, and like that would be the reason why he has a hate group that is calling for his assassination. Right. Um, he, He's like know, the movement king. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We, we know that as of today, um, he definitely put on his social media platform that um, there is a closed group on Facebook that he actually wrote an article about and shared. Um, they are calling for his assassination. Literally, people wow. in this group are wow. saying, um, literally, people in this group are saying, um, let's set it up. Let's kill him. Uh, does anyone know where he is? Um, it is it is crazy. It, it's not just regular people, though. James. No, no, no. It's these regular people. Correct. These are ex uh, police officers. Police officers. Um, yeah, these are ex-police officers. Um, it's absolutely crazy. And, and one of the things that Sean said was, you know, I'm used to getting death threats from random people, but not from people who have such stature. And so apparently the FB, the LAPD has called the FBI uh, in to investigate um, this kind of um, situation. So uh, I don't know. We've got some figuring out to do. Wait, we got a Tamika yes. Smith Pollard on, and she said something. She said they asked if they needed a sniper. They what did. The they did. They did. They did. They said, "Um, uh, we 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 need a sniper." And then one of the people on there said, "Um, don't get it." He, he basically what he was saying was, even though he's old, he still has a steady hand, and so he can still carry out the job, even though he's not young anymore. Wow. It's absolutely, it's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, this is wow. This is crazy. This is ridiculous. I can't believe. It. Look, we'll definitely be following this story. Yeah. As Luke Root sips his tea. Water. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to follow up on that. I want to know more about that. That is yeah, not. Yeah. Oh wow. Oof, that yeah. is different. What is, what's up with these cops in Wilmington, North Carolina, though, y'all? Yeah, it just it's like one long story. It's like it intertwines with the Sean King story. These right. police officers are they they're caught and thank god for you know these body cams yeah body cams are a big deal these days they are pretty significant and i'm glad that there's laws being passed that they have to wear them every day and have them on because this is not a joke and these police officers are abusing their authorities i'm telling y'all and it is not a game it's not and and in this situation um the fear of what many african americans um, think to be true. It's it's actually proving that it is to where you have an individual or individuals on the police force who are literally planning and plotting to, to assassinate um, the African-American community. Absolutely, because there are recordings that are being played that they don't even know that their body cams are still on and they're leaking them. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, it's not, it's a plan. It's a plan. It's a plan. It's a plan. It's like it's, it's like a plan to wipe us out. It, it however, is. however they can. That's absolutely right. And that's another um, pandemic within a pandemic. Perfect. Perfect. And and the beautiful thing about this is is it's bringing light although it's a sad situation. We are literally bringing light to the reality and the plight of the African American. Um, and one of the things, you know, I've been on the front line here in Delaware as it relates to right. legislation and getting things, you know, accomplished. And the reality is, is that you can't legislate hate away. You can't legislate you racism away. away. Right. And right. so the reality is, is that this right now is unfortunately bringing um, limelight, the spotlight right where we need it to be so that individuals don't think that we're just playing the race card. Because I'm so tired of hearing that. We are not 
playing the race car. It is not yeah. a card to be played. It is not a convenient thing that we have in our back pockets as African-Americans. And I'm getting fired up here to pull Please. out whenever we feel that we have been treated uh, incorrectly. It is a real thing that black people go through because we are targeted as if we are some in as if we are some game out there in the forest that you can literally snipe us down. I'm so right. tired of it. I'm sick in Wilmington, of in Wilmington, North Carolina, just so you can see where the frustration is coming. These cops are on record on record um, and we are just going to go out and start slaughtering them effing niggers. Yep. I can't wait. Yep. God, I can't wait. This is an officer of the law. Three of and them. It is, and three of them. And they're going on talking about there's going to be a civil war. And I just bought a new a new gun. So I can shoot these niggas up. These are cops. cops. These are police officers. And thank God for the new um, police chief who's only been in office for a day. But right, he had right. to do some cleanup. Right. Because this type of behavior, these are people here to protect and serve. Not just white folks, but everybody. Right. So if you have people like that on the force that is supposed to protect us, but that's how they feel about us, this is why they go out. And we can be walking to the store and they can just grab you up. They can choke you up and they can shoot you in the back. And it's nothing. It's not. Exactly. This is why. And they just go on about their lives like nothing happened because yeah. it's because they make it OK in America for them to do it. They do. Yeah. And it's nobody every week. Getting, it's a story like this. Reprimand, reprimanded. There's no repercussions. Everybody's just getting off. Yeah. And now that we're seeing them, they're trying to bring justice. But the justice that they're bringing is just not enough for some of us. And I don't know about y'all, but. I want some of these folks to be life under uh, under the jail. No, but that that's wow. the only way things are going to change, Coco, is if they start doing that. That's right. They have to start doing real time. Yeah, there has to be a fear that when you do these kinds of things, you're going to be punished. It's it's the, yeah. it's the truth. Well, yeah. who, somebody's got to be the example. I'm just waiting for who that person is. Because we're tired yeah. of being the example. Oh, Nevertheless, yeah. guys, our guest are, is, is here. We can go on about this forever. Um, so, Mr. Root, if you want to introduce Mr. Myron Butler as we bring him on. Oh, man, this guy, he needs no introduction. First of all, he's a, a personal friend of mine. He's um, He appears in our documentary, uh, Rooted and Grounded, The Evolution of Gospel Music. He's a wealth of knowledge. He makes great music, set me free. You remember he had the flat top in God's property. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> you already man. off limits, Root. Come on. Myron Butler is in the building. What's up, man? What's going on, everybody? Welcome. Thank you. I love that conversation that y'all are having. That's a real one that's needed. And yeah. man, I was getting fired up just listening. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. It is something yeah, that's Myron. real and something that we need to make sure that we hold the people that we pay their salaries, hold them accountable. Why am I jumping into the conversation that we I'm here to talk about something totally it's different? Come on, man. Come no, on. Good. Come it's on. Good. Yeah. I, because yeah. because the reality, uh, the, the reality. First of all, great meeting you, sir. The, the reality good. is that we need more dialogue about this because for so long it has been swept under the rug as if it didn't matter. And, exactly. and, and the reality is, is that from 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 the from the top down, from from the highest ranking officers in our states and our governments, mm -hmm. all the way down to who you would consider the lowest person, there needs to be constant dialogue about this because it, it, it matters. It it what's happening matters. It, it, matters. It, 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 it can no longer go as if it's just something that we just shrug our shoulders and say, oh, that's sad. No, it's beyond sad. It's a crime and it needs yep. to be punished. Right. You're right. Oh, and and, and, and I, also think that, that, I, I also think that even at the local government level, like we, it, that's a part of the accountability that's on us. Once yeah. we realize that those police chiefs and those ones that are in office are not, you know, protecting our communities, are, you know, you know, being biased against us as a people, then we have to go to and vote them out. And I think that's what this is showing me that, you know, we know, yes, this is, is, is an election year for the president, but even as it relates to what's going on in my local community, if mm -hmm. I see that you are an elected official, my taxes are paying your salary and yes. you're not representing our community, then yeah. we need to vote you out and we're going to vote you out. Exactly. That's right. That's right. You know, Myron, man, thank you so much, bro, for, for just being on here today. Uh, he has a project coming out tomorrow, which I, I love it, man. I love not do I not only do I just love the music, I love the idea 
of yes. this because this is the type of stuff that I've been talking about. And it kind of ties into even what we're talking about as far as race relations mm -hmm. in America. There's been a big talk even as of late on, on social media about African-Americans, our artists always go back to CCM, yeah. going back to that community. Yep. Yep. And we love, we love them and we yeah. make their songs over and we make them a whole lot of money. But we have somebody Preach. like Andre Crouch yes. who, I mean, we sung songs that I didn't even know was Andre Crouch till I got older. <laughs> I mean, songs that makes the whole world sing in all churches across America. And yeah. so I want to thank you for doing this project, man. When I when I saw uh, the press release, and I was just like, thank, thank you. I mean, we have so many great people who we can sample their music. We can do their songs over, and right. this is one. So uh, tell us a bit how about how this project came about, my tribute. Well, you know, I actually would like to just piggyback on what you just said. For me, there are so many legends within our black community and more specifically in our black gospel community. And for me, as you just said, yes, we we, we will take our white brothers, you know, CCM songs and sing them and champion them and remix them. And there's so and, and to a certain degree, well, it seems like we forfeit our heritage and our legacy wow. and who we are wow. you know it's just just because something else seems to be more popular right now but for me the thrust behind this project was andre crouch is was and will forever be a legend and not just gospel music but in music period and so for me i what i did is i said you know i want to do a project that will celebrate the life legacy and music of andre crouch one of the greatest artists songwriters and all that of our time but an ulterior motive of mine was that i hope that other artists pick this idea up for me i think that it's something that we have to do we have to pass down the heritage the legacy of our musical history down to the next generation and you talk about that that's why i think we have to champion our culture our music our mm -hmm. blackness and teach that to the generation that the millennials and whatever the next generation will be called we have to make sure that those sounds those songs are not forgotten yes you can go and you know google them or go on youtube but no i think current artists right now need to champion the the, the, the living legends the legends that have gone on to be with the lord that have come before us because they what we'll say is they they paved the way for us right. we're standing on their shoulders and right. that's mm -hmm. right but but in actuality what it really boils down to is just an honorable mention i just mentioned them in a press release or a bullet point on a one sheet that's right no what i think is needful is that current artists go and 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 repurpose or represent the catalog of james cleveland or bishop hezekiah walker or or, or the caravans or shirley caesar or thomas whitfield all of these legends that have literally change the landscape of gospel and that's really my agenda here you know I, I andre influenced the songwriter in me you know when i was nine years old i remember hearing jesus is lord and i had never heard gospel music that sounded like that and i'm like who is this andre crouch guy and he literally reshaped what i understood as possible as a as it relates to being a gospel songwriter so you know i got a bunch of friends that you know love gospel music love andre crouch kurt franklin Kelante gavin anthony hamilton kenny Lattimore, dorinda clark cole kim burrell just a few, just a few friends little more neighbors oh uh, you know but but i think for, for me it's important and that it was intentional it was intentional because you know all of those artists have a different reach and for me i wanted them to be able to get people's attention so that we can understand the significance of somebody like andre crouch wow well, that was a phenomenal song the eight minutes and 22 seconds i'm telling you that <laughs> i'm passionate about it and, and I understand that it took you back. And one of those things that I want to give you kudos as well. Um, I love the medleys. On Sunday mornings, I have a, a show on WIMG here in Trenton. It's a gospel radio station. And on Sunday mornings, I'm usually the girl who gets them ready for church services on Sundays. Uh -huh. so there's a song yeah. with, with Smokey Norfo. It's a medley. Oh, yeah. And I play that every Sunday just to get them ready for church services. And even in the pandemic, we're at home. It gets them going. So it I want to give you a compliment on that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, I am an advocate for pushing the envelope and, you know, experimenting with different sounds and different. But that Sunday morning sound, it's not going anywhere. It is here to stay. And it's needful. It's needful in our generation. It's needful because it is who we are, you know, at the at, 
at the core. And so for me, I don't want that to be forgotten. I remember that that Sunday morning medley that I did with smoking yep. that. And it is that. I mean, it's straight up Sunday morning. It's feel good. Uh, it's feel it good. Is. It right, is. right. Listen, this next guest who just popped on, I I I remember him um on Sunday best. I'll oh, never yes. forget. Him. Um <laughs> he came out and he sang the song Faith. Yeah, and I, buddy. I grew up on this song, but I never heard it like Pastor Michael Lampkin. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go ahead and bring him on. <laughs> Pastor Lampkin, how are you? Hey, hey, I'm on? good. How are you, man? All I'm is well. well. I'm well. Good, it's a you got some yeah. singers on this project, Doc. Hello, oh, Michael no, Lampkin. No. Hello, it's a beast. Oh, oh no, man! Listen, <laughs> you, I'm just, you, listen, I'm just a deacon in the Lord's Michael church. Michael Lampkin on, on Lampkin on face uh, on Instagram. You're gonna hear him singing him out the snow, and it's gonna make you want to shout. <laughs> you hear, <laughs> I, talk, no, no. It's gonna make you want to shout, huh? Oh man, man, you too kind. Man. I appreciate it. it. He is man. a complete uh, gift to the body. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. How was it? How was it being on this project with, with of course, with Myron, who I'm sure, uh, sure is an inspiration to you, but just singing an uh, Andre Crouch song. What was that feeling like? Definitely an inspiration. I am honored. It is a privilege to be working with um, a great man of God like uh, Myron Butler. Man, when he called me, I was looking at my phone like, "What?" Well, actually, he had he had Instagram. Me. I'm like, "Nah, it's spam." Like, <laughs> <laughs> no way. I'm like, "No, nah, Myron Butler couldn't have just hit me up." Like, "No, nah, absolutely not." And so I'm like, "Okay, let's just see what happens." And so I consider it an honor and a privilege because uh, 2012 Sunday Best Season Five, I had the privilege of singing in front of Pastor Andre Crouch. Um, mm -hmm. And that wow. was an honor and did, uh, uh, Oh, it is Jesus. Uh, Ooh. and did that one in front of him. So we all did a, a Sunday best tribute to the great Andre Crouch. And now I'm able to pay homage and, and, and be a part of something great now, uh, to, to partner with, uh, Myron Butler and this entire project and do a tribute to the great one. I, I mean, i it's very inspiring. I'm uh, I'm humbled by it for real. Now I'm not gonna speak to people for like two weeks once it's released. <laughs> but <laughs> right, I'm be like, um, hello, don't right, call hey, me now. Right, right. I'm like, hey, uh, I'm like, hey, did you did you see me on that? You see my name at the bottom? Like, <laughs> it's a rap. Like, hey, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> well, you just said you just said you sung it in front of Andre Crouch. So you know you got to sing it in front of us because if you did it in front of Andre, oh, you got to sing a little piece. Oh, you got to sing a little piece for us. Let it go. Which uh, which one? Does, does it matter? It really doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay. Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. Oh, it's Jesus in my soul. <laughs> For I have touched the hymn of the Thanks, son. His blood has made me whole. Bishop, <laughs> what? How you just come up? How does your voice do that? I don't because it doesn't just do it when you sing; it does it when you preach. I can't do all oh, that. No, when oh, I, I don't. It doesn't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, man, come on. Come on. I just got it too. Hello, oh, no. my wife. My wife said she can do that. My wife said she can do that. Oh, hey, she can I do that. You. I believe you. <laughs> I'm Love telling it. you, phenomenal. Thank you. Phenomenal. phenomenal. Gift. phenomenal. That is the gift that is Michael Lampkin, and you know, I. For me, it was when I heard that voice. When I heard his voice, I'm like this. And you're right. He he was literally preaching, and uh, I I want to say Michael. It may be, you may have been somewhere you were preaching and the clip was on Instagram and I, it, it was a Donald Lawrence song. Maybe it was, and yet I'm still saved. But one of those, oh, and I was like, this dude's voice just, I mean, it, it just wins. I mean, and I'm just like, it comes out so wow. effortlessly. And then just to interact with him, meet him and know that he is a true man of God. I mean, because yeah. it's you know, to be gifted is one thing, but to be gifted and nice is another that's thing. Yes, that's and true. that's true, yeah. Myron. That's really what just kind of endeared me to him and just thankful to have him a part of this project. Gifted, nice, oh. and anointed. It, 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 Come it, on it, here. It, oh, man. It, see, because it, I don't want to do this, but there's a lot of people who are gifted who have no oil. None. And so and, and so we, we need the oil. And so I, I, I'm thankful for both of you who are on. 
uh, because it is it is definitely a, a pleasure to speak with people who understand the oil. Yes, and oil. Come on, somebody. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Myron, I want to know, because listen to this project, man. I'm just like, man, I need to know how you paired each artist with the song. Yes. I mean, you got right. Dorinda wow. Clark Cole, you got Kirk Franklin, Kim Burrell, Fred yeah. Hammond, Kalante, Mike Lampkin, you got uh, Candy West. That's crazy. I mean, Blanche McAllister, Samoke, Anthony Hamilton. Like, it's ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> so how do you how did you pair with the song? Let me just say this. Let me first start with, it took me almost two years. So it wasn't something that I just, you know, put together okay. in two weeks. You know, it just, mm -hmm. but when I, and it was because the thing that I loved about Andre is Andre, of course, he was a phenomenal, just a life-changing songwriter and artist. But Andre had the unique ability to pair voices that made the song come that much more alive. And so mm -hmm. for me, it was a combination of like, I like the texture of their voice and I wonder what it would sound like on this song. So that's what I thought about when I was like, okay, what it sound like for Kim Burrell to sing, we are not ashamed. And when mm. I tell you the, the singing mm. that, of, I mean, we, yeah, just no words, you know, and, 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 and uh, even for someone like Samoke, you know, uh, because for me, I've always wanted to honor Andre and the way his sister Sandra covered him. Mm. For the for his entire life, and so we, right. you know, we, we went and we got the song "Holy Spirit" that 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 she wrote, and just you know, I felt like it was something that Samoke his the uniqueness of his voice could bring just another character to. So for me, it was that, and then some. You know, in some instances, I reached out to the artist, and they said, you know, this was one of my favorite Andre songs, and so I just took you know their lead, like you know, a song mm. that they like, and used that you know as as, as, as say, okay, I'll pair them with this song, but it literally was just how can I, number one, honor the song, honor the music, honor the legacy, but just kind of add a little twist to it that will kind of, you know, make it come that much more alive in this generation. So when you wow. talk about, you know, a, a Michael Lampkin singing The Blood Will Never Lose His Power, like, and it's, it's hands down. It's hand, like, what else What else do you want? What else could you ask for? <laughs> Nothing, you know, and, 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 and even finding other voices that, you know, someone may not be as familiar with, uh, uh, Deanna Reddick, who is in the uh, Oakland, San Francisco area. She, mm -hmm. when I tell you, she handled my tribute. It was, it's just, it, it, it's amazing, it's flawless. So for me, I wanted to honor, start by honoring the music and then pairing the voices in a way that would bring even more life and just kind of, you know, add a new spin on it. And that, that was really how I approached it. But I promise you, you know, you're managing all those schedules and, you know, mm -hmm. those kinds of things, it, it was a task unto itself. But it was a labor of love because once I have Absolutely. to say, I believe that doing this is needful in our genre and in our culture. Yeah. Yes, you can't, not, you can't stress that enough. No, yeah. I'm not just saying this because uh, Mr. Lampkin is on, but um, <laughs> as his power is one of my favorites. Your wow. voice is so powerful and so strong, it demands attention. When did you learn that you had that voice, sir? <sighs> oh, good question. Um, <laughs> I, my, my first time I wanted to learn how to play. So my father didn't do a lot of revivals. And so I wanted to learn how to play. But then after that, the singing came. So I, I'll never forget my first song was Jesus is his name by Ricky Dillard. Come so, on. Mm. Had a half a, right, 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 right. Jesus so, is his name. I'm, right, real high. Jesus, Jesus. So and from there on, it just, everything began to just develop one after the other. And uh, that's all I can say. I, it just happened. And how old were you? How old were you? Like three? Cause I, was, <laughs> I was three years old. I was like, everybody been singing since three, right? Right, right, right. Uh, I started learning how to play at six, so I would say maybe eight, probably. I mean, it probably was there, but I just to, to start singing and develop the singing. To I mean, a starting point. I would say maybe eight, maybe I think maybe. Wow, give or take. Anointed and blessed, uh, I must say. Keep it uh, up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And so when Myra said that, I was like. I, I totally agree because he could have really chosen anybody and like this to be a part of a project with some of the the, the seasoned great singers and to somebody I <clears> consider <throat> myself just new and still learning and being inspired by those who I have watched and I love Myron Butler I love his music uh, I was just uh, I was just bumping uh, uh, the Set Me Free album the uh, <laughs> all of that Classic. you know. Classic. Man, I, I, one of my favorite ones. That place, Latter Rain is Latter Rain is one of my favorite songs. <laughs> I promise you. Uh, speak, I it, so speak is mine. Come oh, on here. Okay, okay, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. 
So Thank to you. be a part, to see, I think God is born in my mind to see the people that I've always saw from a distance and to even be able to even be able to connect with them. It humbles me like I would have never, ever imagined this in a million years. You couldn't have. Uh, you couldn't have paid me enough, or if you told me, if you prophesied that this is gonna happen, I wouldn't have believed you. I really would have. I'm like, nah. You wouldn't believe no the prophet. No, 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 no prophet. No, no, no. <laughs> You're a lying prophet. That, I don't believe it. That that's why those prophecies you're looking at. I'm like, mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah. How much money you want this time? That's what you look right. like. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Every time. So I, I, I'm honored to be a part. I'm glad that. I'm, I'm just honored. That's all I can say. It's, it's a good project. So those of you all that are tuned in, go get it. Pre or you still pre order? Go get it. Yeah. It's gonna bless you. We're, we're paying. Yeah. We all are remembering the legacy, the life, the uh, the teaching, the preaching, the music, the lyrics of Pastor Andre Crouch, a phenomenal, phenomenal man of God. Go get it. Yeah. I promise you. It's church all day. So get you a towel. Get you some CD. Get get you know, get, the, <laughs> get, the, get, the, get the project. Get you some water. Get you a, a usher. Get you a sheet. <laughs> you're going down. We're taking you down. You're going, going down. down. You're going down. Do not. I'm telling you, I remember. <laughs> I remember uh, interviewing Andre Crouch over the phone. And I'm telling you, wow. over the phone, I was like a bag of nerves. Wow. And I had asked him, it was maybe about two years after Michael Jackson passed. Uh, ironically, and I oh. asked him about him working with Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he said, you know, I, I worked with Michael a lot. He said he was a beautiful soul. And he said maybe about a week or two before he pa before he passed away, I actually prayed with him. Wow. And I wow. prayed with him <laughs> in Jesus' name is what he told me. That's right. He Come says, on here. So, you know, some he says and he said he was receptive to it. Yeah, 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 and yeah. I'm yeah. listening to this, and I'm like, he said, because you know, people have their opinions about him. He said, mm -hmm. but he had his issues. He said, but, you know, whenever I came, he would always tell me to pray for him whenever wow. I was in his presence. Wow. And I thought that was, I said, we don't hear these types of stories. You just right. hear, yeah. you know, that he was Jehovah's Witness, that he was right. crazy, that he wore right. a mask, which we, we're right. all like wearing masks now, ironically. Right. Um, That's right. <laughs> yeah. um, but you never hear those types of stories. Uh, so Andre Crouch was just, he was a jewel, man. Um, did you get a chance to speak to him about, about even doing this project, Myron? I didn't, I, I you know, uh, uh, prior to, to 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 him passing, but for me, it was essential to do because Andre was one of those ones. And what you just said speaks to this very fact that Andre, his effect wasn't just confined to the church. His yeah. effect wasn't just confined to a certain denomination right. or it wasn't just confined to a certain race or just this nation. He literally had global impact. And mm -hmm. his life, his ministry, his touch touched so many different people from a Michael Jackson to 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 the to the bedrock of what the sound of church is like just even just the, 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 the difference between those two worlds from, you know, uh, 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 the color purple and all these other things that he did and touched it speaks to the impact and the true you know uh, 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 effects of his ministry on the world and so for me that's why it was important and i hate that i didn't you know get a chance to talk about it with him you know b b b before he transitioned before he left i did it, it was at the bmi luncheon uh where they honored him and sandra yes it was a time mm -hmm. where i got a chance to one, interact of, the, one, with one him. of my favorites that was the one of my favorite absolute, BMI luncheon. like yeah, Chemical. Man. and uh, so so for me, you know, I I, I, I hate that I, that I wasn't afforded the opportunity to just meet him in that capacity and share with him. But for me, that's why for me, when I say when, when the title of the record is my tribute, and part of that meaning is of course the song "My Tribute to God Be the Glory," but also this is my personal tribute to Him. And so you know, for me, like I said, this is something that I pray. This this concept is it is something that I pray catches on. And other artists do the same thing to all of the many legends in gospel music. Wow. Wonderful. Yeah. Mr. Root, our next guest has entered. So if you want to introduce Miss Candy West. Come oh on. My God. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just party tonight. Candy. Come, Come on. Yes, welcome. I'm telling you, I listen, I knew about Candy when she used to sing with Bishop Jakes. Okay. I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take you back. But then Miss West decided to come out with something talking about some watch God work it out. Well, now when man, watch man, God man. work it out dropped. Now I don't listen. All I know is I was like, where's man the knows his of? gospel music history? He knows. So look, so look, when I'm in my car, I'm on IG in my car hooking up my USB. Watch God 
Where? Hey. Get out. I'm like, yo, I'm like, where is the rest of this? Where is this? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thank y'all. Candy, what's so up, girl? Glad to be here. Hey, hey. So glad to be here with y'all tonight. Welcome, welcome. Yes. So what does this mean to you to be a part of this project? I know you and Myron, y'all go way back. But way this, back. this album is so, um, you know, so special. Um, and you're doing your good singing on this medley. Good singing. What, what, what is the feeling like being, being a part of this project? You know, it's it to me, it's very nostalgic, you know, to relive this music for Myron to to give this music a rebirthing and to be a part of it. I feel like we are reliving nostalgia and just giving it like a fresh sound. And I'm really mm -hmm. excited about being a part of this project. Wow. Yes. Working That's with dope. so many phenomenal artists, I mean, what does that do for you to, to, to be able to say that you are on an, an album with so many phenomenal artists? I mean, what does that do for you, Candy? How do you how does that make you feel? I'm honored to be to be honest. You know, when I think about Fred Hammond, Kim yeah. Burrell, Kirk yeah. Franklin, yeah. uh Kalante Gavin, I mean, just the list goes on and on and on. When you think about all the hitters that are on this project. And I'm like, little me, I get a chance to get 15 seconds. <laughs> 15 seconds in, in a little bridge, a man say, I'm, I'm really excited about it. It really is an honor to be amongst gospel greatness and legends and icons. And so, I mean, nobody can do this like Myron Butler though. I mean, Myron is my brother for sure, but he can sure. pull the favor from the north, south, east, and the west. <laughs> yes, he can. And I know he did this record. He pulled the favor for this one. So yes, I, I'm really excited about this record. Yeah. Yes, and Candy, what are you working on? You know. Well, yeah, I'm glad you, you asked. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm actually Come on I'm here. working on a uh I'm working on a single. I had to read, I was gonna do a live recording this summer, but with COVID and sure. pandemic and all that. We're going to reschedule that for a later date. Um, but I actually I'm releasing a single really soon called Song of Hope. Super excited about this song. It's a song that I wrote in quarantine, but it's mm -hmm. definitely a song of hope. It's a song of inspiration. And um, I was able to get one of my other brothers, my friend Sean Martin, to do some uh, funky talk back stuff and talk box stuff on it. So I'm really excited about this song. So it'll be coming out soon. Great. So you can tell us where you can find that coming up. So them creative juices have been flowing in the uh, COVID-19, huh? I see a lot Absolutely. of love. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I hit, a, I hit a creative streak. And the thing about hitting a creative streak when you're a songwriter, I'm not necessarily, a, I don't play. So I can't necessarily produce music for myself. And you're at the mercy of, come on, y'all, give me some tracks. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I don't hit mm -hmm. a thing. Like, I'm ready to write. So... <laughs> I've been at a, at a limitation with being able to fully create, but that has not stopped me from writing. I've been writing. Um, I was able to finish one of my books, which will also be coming out in the fall. So I'm really Come excited on, about like Come on here. Nice. Come on, book. Work. <laughs> great, great, great. Right. So what's, your, what's your inspiration these days? What's inspiring you to get so creative? Besides just sitting at home and having just time to think and do nothing. <laughs> That's really it. You know, when you think about what we do from a ministry standpoint, a professional standpoint, music standpoint, I can put I, I put so much focus on what I do for the church, what I do for my team, what I do for my, you know, for the ministry side. And so really being able to have this time to sit and focus and say, hey, what do I want to do? What makes me happy? What do I love about my gift? How can I what have mm -hmm. I not tapped into? Where have I allowed my gift to kind of lay dormant? And how can I shake the dust off of that and kind of begin to stir that creativity again? So having this downtime and being able to do nothing else has really given me time to focus on me and stuff that I love. I'm now, telling you, yeah. that, that's powerful. I, I told, I, as a pastor, I, 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 I challenged myself. I said, there is no way that when I come out of this pandemic, I should be even preaching the same. We have too much time to be able to to, to hone our craft and mm -hmm. and take seriously what God has given us. And so, yeah, you know, if if we are if we come out of this pandemic without being better at something that we that, that we do all the time, Something's we have wrong. wasted 
yeah. this opportunity yeah. to hone the gift that God has given us. And so I applaud you for doing that. And I think that we're seeing so much of that, not just across the body of Christ, but just across the world where yeah. individuals mm -hmm. are literally taking this time mm -hmm. to, to allow the creative juices to flow and to just simply get better. Yeah. And so, and so for, for, for Myron, there's no better time to, to release this yeah, because, right, yeah. because it, it just shows us that 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 this is what we ought to be doing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, one thing that I've realized is, you know, pre pre COVID, one thing that a lot of people really specialized and were, you know, had a PhD in and that was being busy. Yeah. Everybody was yeah. doing this, 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 and this, and yeah. this, and this, and this, and this. Yep. And God has a unique way, not saying that, you know, it, it, it's God, but God has a unique way to unbusy us. Yeah. And give us time to reset, to give us time to focus on what he's placed in us, give us time to connect with him. And yes, you know, yes, go do this. Go have those things that you're working on. But I, I feel like it's in time that we can can reset and reconnect with God on a deeper level so that we hear more specifically what he has for us to do and to go and do that. And so for me, that's what I've kind of looked at this whole pandemic COVID time of being in the house. Yes. You know, I, I tell people that if COVID came before school ended. I've got three kids. So our whole house was a classroom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. And, 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 and that's really real. But now that, that, that we're in this, you know, in, in this moment where we literally have time to, you know what? Let me take time and do more Bible study. Let me take more time and mm -hmm. dig into purpose and what God has placed inside of me and bring that to fruition. And I think that's really what this time is allowing us at large to do if we'll be receptive to that. Right, exactly. Absolutely. And I've said plenty of times, you know, a lot of us have the gift or we're blessed to, to be creative during this time and to come out with podcasts or create our own businesses. But at the same time, not to discredit those who have not. If you have not found your creative juices or found out what you want to do during this COVID uh, or during this pandemic, if you are struggling and you've not passed that, if you've not mm. figured it out during that time, use this time to heal and talk to God so yeah, that you yeah. can find your path. So this might not right. be your season. When we come out of this pandemic, it might be your season. You might have more clarity. That's right. That's right. Good. Okay. right. That's good. That's right. I, I think this is a good time, guys, to play a, a fun game Ooh. of uh, talk it, sing it. Come on, Ruth. Uh oh, uh oh. We have, we have three artists on here. Yes. Oh, okay. Y'all better know. know. Basically, the gist of this this game is, you know, oftentimes we know we hear a song and we know the melody and we go with the beat. But sometimes, you know, you don't know a song if you just hear the lyrics. And it's just okay. like, I know the lyrics, but mm. what is this song? So I'm gonna talk, oh, I'm Lord, gonna talk us. the lyrics. Uh oh, help us, Lord. <laughs> got three singers on it. Usually, Please, we let people Jesus. just yeah, yeah lyrics back yeah. if they guess it. But I'm gonna need y'all to <laughs> sing the lyrics back. Yeah, y'all gotta me. sing it. Yes, they have okay. to sing it. Okay. okay. All right. So song number one, lyrics. Lord, you've been good to me. You've been so good to me, so very good to me. Uh. You get you gave me back my soul and everything that the locust stole. You've been so good to me. Oh, Come on. I got it. Oh, Go ahead. Okay. You got it? Okay. Go ahead. Uh -huh. You got it. You got to yeah. sing it. Let's hear it. Uh, um. Oh, Lord, you've been so good to me. You've been very good to me. That's uh, Kim Burrell, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, there we go. Come on, Candy. Come on, Come on Candy. Go ahead. Oh, That's why on. she's Candy you with. Take it down. You just had to do that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got another one. Okay. Let me just say this. All of these songs are not gospel. Okay. Awesome. Uh, okay. I know Myron. Yeah. I already know Straight Myron church. is. <laughs> he's, church. he's half Dude. carnal, half gospel anyway, so he should get this. You can't grow up listening to jazz being all church. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> right. He loved that. Yeah. All right. Here it goes. There's a loving in your eyes all the way. If I listen to your lies, would you say, I'm a man without conviction? I'm a man who doesn't know how to sell a contradiction. You come and go, you come and go. Mm. I lost. I lost. I lost on that one too. I'm out. You lost. All of y'all lost. Tag. I'm out. Tag. I'm Is out. Is that John Legend? Can we get another bar? 
All right, if I give y'all this this bar, y'all gonna get it. So I'm gonna go okay, back. Good. If I do the if I do the if I do the chorus, y'all gonna get it. So I'm gonna give you okay. another verse. Oh, Didn't God. you hear your wicked words every day? And you used to be so sweet. I heard you say that my love was an addiction. When we cling, our love is strong. When you go, you're gone forever. You string along, you string along. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I looked at the <laughs> <comments. laughs> You said this sound like a Jesse Jackson speech. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So Y'all all going to be mortified. Only to me. Only to me. Only to me, right? <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm gonna go I'm to the verse. Like, I don't know to sing or give a speech. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I, don't, I ain't never heard this. I'm a comma, 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 chameleon. You come and go. You come and go. Okay. Oh, that's oh. Don't nobody know the verses. All we know is that. <laughs> no, that's, that's what makes this game. Lord, help look me. here. Love yeah, it. strike against I'll me. Hit us with another one. Right. Another one. Ooh. All right. All you gotta do is just walk away and pass me by. Don't acknowledge my smile when I try to say hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all you gotta do is not answer my calls when I'm trying to get through to keep me wondering why when all I can do is sigh. I just wanna touch you. All right, if you know it. Yeah. yeah. Come on, it's butterflies, Michael Jackson, y'all. Oh, okay, okay. See, hey, hey, hey this really saying they say for real because because you know, Michael and Myron are looking so confused. <laughs> They have no <laughs> clue. Andy is like me. Right, I guess yeah. I'm not saying for real because I knew oh, that one too, y'all. He's killing this game, I'm, and Michael listen. is little baby Jesus too. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Mike is like, I ain't got nothing but what the Bible say. Brothers, y'all making me look real carnal over here. No, no, no. All right, <laughs> you family, help us uh, win. Help us win. Come on, Candy. Right. Oh man. All, All right, right, I got one more, one more. Okay, okay, Lord, come on, give us I this. I think Candy may run away with all of this. I don't know. Okay, All right, we gonna Is we gonna bring a it back. Is there a prize for this? Do I get just, a prize? Just the congratulations at the end. No, there is uh, a prize. There is a prize. I'm a, there is a prize. I'm gonna send you the Root magazine that you was in that I probably never gave you. So I'm gonna send you that. All right, last one. Tomorrow is a brand new day, and all my sins are washed away. Okay. My hands look new. My life is free. My heart is pure. I've been redeemed. I've seen his face. I touched his hands. Wait, Mike, you know this one? Finally, I know this one. now. I right, come on, Mike. Go ahead and sing this. Okay, one. I know some of the lyrics. Tomorrow is a come brand on, Mike. new yep. day, mm -hmm. and all my sins have been washed away. My hands are new. Yeah, my life hey. is free, 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 free. <laughs> and by his blood, I've been redeemed. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 it was a oh, church. What? <laughs> it's a Muslim. <laughs> is that Muslim? Myron is with the bean pies. Bean pies. With the, he got a bean pie and a bow tie. Right. Jesus. And a bow tie. Oh, that was I fun. Love it. Candy wins. Candy yes. wins. Myron. <laughs> and I was going to say two wrong. prizes. Since she got another project come back, coming up, she gets to invite back to the show to introduce her new project. There you go. There we go. There we go. I'll take it. I'll I like that. I love it. I love it. So, so Myron, why, why should people go out and, and, well, people not going out nowhere now. And this, this is another <laughs> frustration of mine. Uh, <laughs> all you got to do is download it. Absolutely. That's yep. right. This is great music. Um, so tell people, you know, about this record and, and why they should download it. 
Well, yeah, I mean, I think that this record is one that warrants, you know, I know we live in, we live in a streaming world, you know, that's the new norm for everything. Uh, but I think, you know, those impactful records, uh, it should be a part of your record collection, it should be a part of, you know, something that you own. Because for me, these songs, uh, this artist, his legacy is something that should be passed down to your children, to your children's children. I, you know, for me, it's about me teaching my son, who is a musician and is a drummer, you know, what Andre Crouch meant to gospel music. So for me, I want to own that music so that I can pass that music down. I know, and like I said, we live in, you know, go and listen to it on YouTube or, you know, do it, you know, hear it on Google this. But I think that this, you know, those important projects uh, that talk about, you know, our history, our legacy, and you know where we came from the people that have paved the way for us the people that have you know laid the foreground those true legends not just thrown around the word but true legends that we yeah, should know their music you know we should honor their music so for me uh, that's why i'm encouraging everyone you know and i know it seems a little self-serving so forgive me if, if, if it does but i think this project is one that you should not only just listen to but you should purchase purchase push that button push that little push that little button that says yeah, download this is purchase. Uh, because it is it, it is something that I think will will uh, have you know multiple positive effects on you and uh, and and on you know the uh, the generations that come behind us. So for me, that's why I'm hoping everyone will will take this opportunity to support the project, buy the project, and also as I I gotta keep saying you know let's find other legends. You know that that's why I think it was so impactful the the Clark Sisters movie that, that just came out is because uh, we love our legends. And so for right. me, I think we need to create that culture where our legends are are, are continuously being celebrated and championed. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And the album is out tomorrow. Is out tomorrow, Myron? The album is out on tomorrow, 12 p.m. 12 a.m. I'm sorry. 12, 12, 12 a.m. Midnight. 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 Yes. Oh, and yes. All also, uh, uh, because uh, during the first week of release, uh, July 1st, I believe that's either next Wednesday or Thursday, is Wednesday. Uh, Pastor uh, Wednesday, uh, is, mm -hmm. is Pastor Andre and Sandra's birthday. So what uh -huh. we've done is we, we put together a little video tribute to them. Uh, I reached out to some other artist friends, got CeCe Wine, has got Erica Campbell and Warren Thanks. Campbell and so many uh, <laughs> <laughs> so many others to, to send in <laughs> birthday tributes uh, to Andre and Sandra Crouch. So uh, that'll be streaming on my Facebook and and YouTube and Instagram page. That's on July first. Uh, just just to just to celebrate, you know, them and and love on them as we should. Are all your platforms at Myron Butler? Uh, so Twitter is at Myron Butler. Instagram is Mr M Butler, and Facebook is Myron Butler and Levi. Okay. Well, I, I think that. our final guest just joined us. Let's see if we can bring him on in. Bring him on in. Let's it's see a party. Hey, we have a house so, party. So I think we may have to. I don't so know we if have, we can bring. So we're gonna have to bring. We're gonna have to bring one person off. Okay. Um, to bring to bring them on. So, um, Mike, you've been with us the longest, Bishop. Absolutely. So let me let me pull you down, and then at the end we'll bring you back on. Is that all right? Understandable. Stay with us, please. Okay. Thank we'll you, do Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the back of the church. Yeah. <laughs> Stay with us. Don't go nowhere. Put your finger up. Put your finger up. You're right. Yes, sir. Last but not Ooh. least, it's in the oh, building. Oh, my God. When I tell you, this Z. guy right here. It's Z. Thank y'all. Thank y'all <laughs> so much. The best kept secret. Hello. When I saw Myron put him on the album. Okay. <laughs> Listen, you, I'm, I'm telling you. you Listen, when 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 that short 60 second clip of I'm not God mm. hit Instagram, Woo. I said, who is Bro. this? I Thanks. shared it on my story. I had like five people say, can you send it to me? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the incredible Mr. Samat has joined us, guys. This is incredible. Yeah, you. Is, you know, know. is it Samat or is it Samo? It's Samo. 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 But the T is there. So Samo. Uh, it's there. It's there. It's there. It's silent. It's, it's, it's there. It's, 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 it's name really it's there. Yeah. What's the science behind? Is your name Thomas backwards? It's some it is Thomas backwards, but it's Samo. Because people actually have started to call me Thomas backwards, and that's annoying. Um oh my goodness. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What? They call you Thomas backwards. <laughs> hey, Thomas backwards. backwards. 
Yep. Right. Oh, Are no, you serious? serious? I wanted to know if that was it. I wouldn't do that. Oh, God, that's so tacky. That's horrible. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Touch so your people, bad. Lord. Touch your ball. people. Well, man, thank you for, for joining us, man. This is an honor. You, my friend, you have such an amazing gift. And, um, you know, I, I love, like, seeing people in the beginning stages and just how you uh, have been just on social media, how people re have really taken a, a liking to you, especially us who growing up in church. We know right. our people. Right. <laughs> we, yeah. we know, even if you sing other genres of music, don't matter. we know our people. So that right. is you. Um, uh, I mean, what... Um, how did you get involved in this project with, with Myron? Well, first and foremost, I'm a Myron Butler and Levi fan. Like, legit. And let yeah. me just say, let, let, let me just say this. When he said that, I was like, he's just being nice. He's just being right, kind. Right, right. Y'all, he went and he started singing like those songs that nobody else would know, like unless you right, listen to the, middle the whole of the album. album. He, mm -hmm. he was singing. I was like, yeah. he really means this. Oh, I was yeah. like, wow. Go ahead, sir. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, I'm a fan, like, legit. So one of my um, music friends was like, yo, you want to do this song with Myron Butler? Or he, he wants you to do a song with him. I was like, stop playing. <laughs> That's the same <laughs> thing Mike Lampkin said. Stop playing. Yeah. <laughs> they were serious. And so I'm like, I told one of my homeboys, like, yo, I think Myron Butler want to do a song with me. I don't know why. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm, like, all the way ghetto. I went to church with my grandma. I don't know why. I don't know why God spoke to him on this one. Right. I'm going to just, he don't know me, but I ain't going to say nothing. I'm going to go ahead and do the song so he don't know nothing. He can't know. He don't know. He don't know. So it was actually very inspiring to me to be a part because I sing R&B. But I definitely grew up in church and sung it. My mom plays the organ, and my yeah. grandma was over the choir. So I know all three parts. Come on, so, here. all three. All parts. three. All Used to be saying but now it's I'm, I'm back down to tenor. Back down to tenor. <laughs> but it was it was an honor. It's like even being in the 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 studio with you, Myron. It was surreal the entire time because I was waiting for the rest of Levi to come out because I was supposed to be a member. <laughs> he was supposed to, I was yeah. supposed to be a member. He was yeah. supposed to be a member. I was supposed to be a member. School, but I was supposed to be a member. <laughs> I love it. I, like it for, the, for the reunion album. Let you, let you, want. Okay. you He's definitely front row tenor on the reunion uh, okay. uh, record. So Absolutely. Give me a mic. Absolutely. I'll be in the crowd with a mic. <laughs> in the crowd. <laughs> oh, oh, and um, Candy West, I love you so much. Oh, <laughs> do we have a? Are we playing matchmaker now? We got a, we got a new set. <laughs> you you know, a match? I do I do you, I all right, so it looks like you guys have you. never. I just love you so much. I think you're super super dope. So even for you to be a part of Myron's project, I'll, I'm excited about this. This is so. Yeah, me too. wow. Me too. It's so a I, full circle moment. I have to ask you. Um, where did the inspiration for I'm not God come from? Where, where, because the, the things that you're talking about on there are, are serious things. They're real. Mm -hmm. um, where, where did that come from? And, 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 and how did you come up with, 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 with that? I was in a relationship and um, I realized that I was controlling. Mm -hmm. That is the aspect of um, me it's like, real. don't go over there. Don't wear that. Right, right. But I was trying to control the outcome. Wow. And the outcome, it was going towards it being over or growing apart. Mm. But I was so stuck on what I wanted that um, I was controlling. I didn't realize it until I was like, I'm so, like, I'm, I'm mad stressed out. It was like, mm -hmm. I'm not God. Wow. Wow. So wait, so wait, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to put you on the spot, but, but for no those way. of you who have not heard this song, can you give us 60 seconds of this? Come on, come on. For sure. Wilts. Uh, let's go. Like <laughs> 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 <Black> us. <laughs> listen, y'all. Yeah, listen, y'all. Listen, right, y'all. Right, for right, those right, of you right, who right. have never heard this man sing, man, I'm telling right. you, make sure the volume on whatever this device you're listening so to the show on, make sure you're on, make sure it's on loud. Mm -hmm. The hook. I want 
want to save you, yeah. But I'm not gone. I want to heal you. But that's not my job. I want to pick you up on the ground and lift you high out and lost it. Hey, I want to save you. Yeah. But I'm not God. I'm going to go one more time. Hey, hey I want to save you. Woo. But I'm not God. Same boy. I want to peel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not my job. Mm -hmm. I want to pick you up. Over the ground and lift you higher than myself. Hey, I want to save you, yeah, yeah. but I'm not gone. Hey, hey, I want to save you, yeah, 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 but I'm not gone. Ooh, well, I wanted to save you, yeah. Thanks, son. Thanks. But I'm not gone. Last time I wanted to save you, yeah. But I'm not gone. Woo! My Lord. Thank you. Magical, magical, magical. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. My God. Thank you, Wilkes. So, so, thank you for those of you who did not know, I, that's the song I've been playing on repeat since like a year and a half ago. So, wow. thank you. So, so, so this is incredible. Um, and the story behind that, man, I, I just appreciate you, and I want to thank you for your transparency um, on on how that even you know came about, man. Because you could have made up this crazy story about somebody else wrote it for you, um, but. But I appreciate your transparency on, on even just being real with us, man. So, again, sure. man, a wonderful voice, man. We appreciate you. All right. Absolutely. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. You. I appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. We, Thank you, boy. We appreciate you as well. What other, besides relationships, what other things inspire you to sing? People, nature. Um, and it's actually a lot of my songs aren't like relationship based because. I don't be putting my business out like that. So it's <laughs> like friends. You know, some stuff, you can't have everything. Yeah, so, right, right. Right, right. So it's a lot of like relationship. When I speak about relationship, it's more so like friends, family, all mm -hmm. types of relationships. But I'm very inspired by nature, just plants alone by themselves. Mm. Wow, I like that. I like that. Would you ever do consider doing a gospel album? Yo, I'm actually, I get why people ask me that. I didn't get it at first. I said, you know what? I do sound like I'm 45 in 1984. Yo. <laughs> but it's, it's um, magic. 45 in 1984. Absolutely. But the crazy thing is. That's the not, these 45 year olds, they too young for the 45 year olds in 1984. Right. 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 The, the riffs and the runs that you yeah. do You're are right. church. Mm -hmm. For sure. We can tell. That you know what I'm saying? That that you came from church. Like if my praise mm -hmm. and worship leader don't sing like that, I don't want them to sing, right? Yeah. So it's like it's like we we know that that's church, and I think that's why mm -hmm. people ask you, would you ever? Because you know you would crush it if you did it. Yeah. You know what though? Seriously, I think there's a lot of amazing, beautiful gospel artists, and they have so much good music. Mm -hmm. And this is not a PR answer. This is okay. my real answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. They have so much good music that I think when somebody from another genre goes into like gospel, everybody just like, oh my gosh, we got yeah. one. The kingdom got one. It's like, uh -huh. y'all, all these good people y'all got over here that y'all probably don't support or right. listen to. That's you don't good. know they have That's the music good. out. Yep. Um, but if I felt it, I would definitely do it. This, like, regardless of that, what I just said, because okay. if I go by what I feel. So if I wake up tomorrow <laughs> and I get 30 songs about God or that are from my heart, you would definitely get a project from me. But my mama want me to do a praise and worship CD. And I respect <laughs> my mama, so. <laughs> but you, you gotta, gotta listen to I'm mama. gonna do one for her. 
what what I want to just say, I think what you're talking about and what you just said, Samo, is what everybody feels, what I felt when I listened to your music. There is a passion, there is a sincerity, there's a transparency, and that, that's even aside from just the, your technical ability, but just the place from which you sing is 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 is, is true, it's pure. And I think that's for me what connected. So it's that feeling that you do. So if you said, if I wake up tomorrow and feel it, I'm, I'm going to believe that because that's the place you sing from. You sing from a place of honest feelings. And so for me, that's what drew me in. And that's what I'm mm -hmm. like, man, this guy, whatever he sings about, he means it, you know? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and then when you add the ability on top of that, it's just like, okay, somebody come get me off the floor. And that's why mm -hmm. I truly, 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 truly say this. Mo, you are a gift. You're a gift to the world. And I celebrate. I love your gift. And I'm honored to have you a part of this project. Thank That's you, wonderful. man. That means so much to hear you wonderful. say that. Yes, like sir. looking at your city covers in Walmart and then to see you right here saying this to me. <laughs> and like crazy. We're like, can't I mean Miss Candy? You ain't gonna say Miss Candy, you girl. Um and peaches and them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love that was peaches. so dope. Thank well, you. Candy, you're next because um you ain't leaving here without singing. You gotta right. sing so up. um Come on, say Candy. She looking like what you doing? Because everybody else done saying Candy. We Wait a minute. She looking like we had Bishop singing. No, 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 Myron. Myron oh, we gonna sing. sing. Myron's black. Yeah, what, what? we had the I'm Bishop sing. Prepare, 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 no, prepare your heart. Prepare your heart and your mind. Man, I got a whole album coming out. Where you at? I, I'm not singing tonight. <laughs> There's too much you're great singing it. that's done going on. Sing a little bit for the people, Candy. Come on, Miss West. Um, okay, what y'all, what, what, say what? Say Whatever what? comes to your heart. Whatever Who was that in the background? I'm not even that, that, that guy. Somebody need to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'll sing a little bit of my song called Contentment, because it's one of the songs that has really blessed me during the time of a uh, pandemic, just a reminder. So, y'all ready? Here we go. You ready. Yeah, you uh, ready. That's the chorus. All right. Lord, help me be content with where I am, because you know my end from my beginning. Oh, help me trust your heart when I can't see your hand, because you never, never without a plan. And you Right, right, right. Go ahead. We're not going to act like we didn't hear that bottom. We're not going to act like that. You guys, this is, um, man, I cannot wait for you guys to hear this project. I'm telling you. Kirk yes. Franklin, Fred Hammond, Dorinda Clark Cole, Samo, mm -hmm. Candy West, Candy Lattimore. Kenny Lattimore, Anthony Kalante, Gavin. all right, Kalante Gavin, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> that young man, Jesus was Christ, was he even, he was born in what, what, 99 maybe? Yes, yes like, he did. <laughs> and, he, and he's another one, 45, 1984. Like, yep. his his voice, man, it's not of his age. The range. Like, the old old, the right. range so and old. the conviction. Yes. Very it's it's, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's uh, amazing, man. Yeah, it's amazing. So we're looking forward to this project. Myron, take us out with one of your favorite Andre Crouch songs. I don't care what it is. I do have one bone to pick with you because it's one song on this album. I was like, oh my God, why not? Maybe God is trying to tell you something. I was like, why is that? Uh, oh God. Oh God. That's the way the clock call would have ran it through. <laughs> now you're right. Now you're right. That you're, you're right. That's the thing that I told everybody and that I, you know, Andre Crouch's catalog is as vast as uh, from the east to the west. And like I said, there Absolutely. is really no way to cover, you know, all of his catalog. So that's why I am sending the clarion call to all of the artists that are out there, you know, com continue this, this this concept. You know, someone yes. else come and do a, another Andre Crouch. 
uh, a, a mm -hmm. tribute because you know there's so many songs and, and as you said there's so many songs that we didn't even know that andre wrote you know and, yeah. and people are getting schooled to that as well so i want to encourage everyone please support the record 12 midnight it's tonight uh uh continue to love on our gospel legends and let them know how much yes. we love them and uh God bless you. Good night, everyone. No, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 hilarious. Mm -hmm. All right, just just a simple one. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. God bless everyone and may you go in perfect peace. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Thank we, we'll, uh, we'll take it, Myron. That's great. Yeah. Even songs yeah. like that, though, everybody yeah. sings it in everybody. every church. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Like, just uh, Andre Crouch left us some amazing music man that will just last generations so that thank you man forever. thank you myron uh this project is called my tribute at yes. midnight make sure you download it the artwork another thing the artwork is phenomenal oh, i love the throwback look yes. the hat you really channeled andre kraut like so dope yes, you guys sir. have to get this project man it's it's amazing uh just one more time tell them who's on who's on the project uh we got Candy West, we got Samoke, we got Michael Lampkin, we got Deanna Reddick, we got Kelante Gavin, we got Kirk Franklin, uh, Kim Burrell, Dorinda Clark Cole, Shelby Five, uh, mm. Kenny Lattimore, Anthony Hamilton. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Um, Dorinda Clark Cole, you said? Dorinda Clark. Um, yeah, Dorinda Clark Cole. Michael Lampkin. You got Fred yeah, Hammond Michael, on there? Fred Hammond. Hammond. Yeah, yeah, oh, just, cool. just a whole- uh, Kim a, a Burrell. Whole host. Kim Burrell, yes. Uh, just a whole host of of, of gospel legends, uh, uh, legends on the other side, you know, R and B as well. And so for me, that's Anthony what Hamilton. it's about. It, yes, Anthony Hamilton and so yeah. many others just coming together to say, you know what? I love the impact of Andre Crouch, and I want to champion and celebrate him as well. So just I'm thankful. I'm thank you know I'm thankful to God for giving me at least those relationships, you know. And and yeah. and for me, I wanted to use those. To bring awareness to some to someone that I think uh, think deserves it, and also you know just just kind of upbuild the kingdom and and make sure that our heritage, our legacy of our legends is not lost. So once again, go get it tonight. Go get it tonight. Go get it. My you tribute. Thank you guys so much, man. All right. Love you, Samoa. Love you, Candy. Love y'all. Welcome. I love y'all. Wait, before you guys go, wait, 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 wait. Before you guys go, uh, Samoa sure. and Miss West, we want to find out more information. Where can we follow you guys on social media as well? Yeah. Yes. Ladies first. Well, you can follow me on the gram, IG, the Candy West, um, at Candy West on Instagram, Candy West everywhere else. So that's where you can find me. Make Come sure y'all look out for Miss West and Mr. Samoa. What's up with you? You can, you can find me at Samoa Music on everything. My management does not play. They want my name to be the same on everything. <laughs> that's right. Everything. Right. And last thing, um, Myra, thank you for up in my price. Um, you got me on this city with all these legends. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I know that's right. right. I know that's Stop right. Up. Huh? Stop with up. Huh? Call, call me. <laughs> I love it. I know that's right. I'm on the same city as Kim and Dorinda. It's over. What? It's over. <laughs> and Kirk Franklin. And Kirk Franklin. Come on. Come on, somebody. Listen, wow. I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to all these projects. Thank you guys for joining us. We appreciate y'all. Once the pandemic is over and we get in the studio, we want to invite everybody back. So Absolutely. make sure y'all stay tuned and we go stay tuned on all y'all projects. Appreciate y'all. Uh, uh, I'm going to bring, so bring Pastor Lampkin Bye. back on so he can let us know his social media as well. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Mr. Lampkin. I am here. here. 
appreciate your patience. Thank you, sir. Before we go off, though, we wanted to bring you back on so we can let everybody, so you can let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, Michael Lampkin on everything Instagram, Michael Lampkin, Facebook, Michael Lampkin. Uh, Twitter. Am I the only one who still got Twitter? I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, people, people still tweeting, bro. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Donald, Michael Donald Trump. Trump. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Every day. Every day. He needs to stop. But, but right. yeah, so Michael Lampkin everywhere. So wait, Pastor yeah. Lampkin sang for us, right? Because if yeah, he didn't, yes, he, he gotta sing faith. He did. Okay, okay. He did, he did, uh, he did. <laughs> he did, he did. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, Pastor trying to get a whole concert, man. Listen, <laughs> hey, we got to get it when we can. It's, the, it's a moment. It's not got nothing Seize else to the do. moment. I understand. I promise you I understand. <laughs> free months. Don't worry about it. But we appreciate yeah, so much, you for coming Thank on. You. And like I, so told you, like I told everybody else, once the pandemic is over and we get into the studio, we definitely want you to come back with more of your projects. And definitely, you can put on a concert for us if you like, sir. Absolutely. Whatever you want me to Absolutely. do, I uh, will. Thank you all so much for this time. Myron, thank you so thank much. You. I am humbled thank you, Myron. to be on this project. Listen, go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Yes, sir. Thank right. you. 12 midnight you tonight. So love you guys. All right. All right. Love you. All right. Thank you. Great show, guys. Well, guess what? That about does it for us. We are yes. out of here, y'all. We appreciate y'all hanging out. It's been another good show with uh, noble dialogue, decent vibes, excellent energy, and of course, great people. We want to thank Mr. Myron Butler, Mr. Samat, Miss Candy West, and of course, the special guest, um, the other special guest, Mr. Michael Lampkin, for joining us. Thank you all for tuning in. See y'all next week for another edition of Root Access Live on Thursdays at seven for more great conversations and hot topics. Peace. Peace. Peace.